Welcome to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to solve one very interesting rational equation problem. It is 2x plus 1 whole square times x minus 3 whole square over x minus 1 whole square plus 2x minus 5 whole square times x plus 1 whole square over x minus 1 whole square equal to 2 square. And we have to find out all real solutions. Let's get started. By considering one algebraic manipulation step, I will multiply here numerator and denominator with 2 power 2, which is 4. So here also 2 power 2, 2 power 2. Now I can insert this 2 into the bracket as exponents are same. Same job I will apply for this bracket. I will multiply this 2 inside the bracket, this 2 inside the bracket as exponents are same. So let me do it. I will be writing here 2x plus 1 whole square. Then I will be writing 2x minus 6 whole square divided by 2x minus 2 whole square. Then I will be writing here plus 2x minus 5 whole square, 2x plus 2 whole square divided by 2x minus 2 whole square. And right hand side is 2 square which is 4. Now 2x plus 1, 2x minus 6, 2x minus 2, 2x minus 5. So I will consider its averaging. So if I will draw one number line, what substitution should I take? So I will write here it is 2x axis origin. Now see 2x plus 1. So I will write here plus 1. 2x minus 6. Minus 6. 2x minus 2. So I will be writing here minus 2. 2x minus 5. Minus 5. 2x plus 2. It is plus 2 and 2x minus 2 already taken. Now if I will find out the middle point, so this will be our middle point. Averaging of all the values. So I will write here, let us consider 2x minus 2 equal to a suppose. So I will write here 2x plus 1. So 2x plus 1 will be a plus 3 whole square. 2x minus 6. So I will be writing a minus 4 whole square. Denominator is of course a square plus 2x minus 5. So it will become a minus 3 whole square. 2x plus 2 whole square. So I will be writing here a plus 4 whole square. And denominator is a square right hand side is 4. Now I will take LCM. A square will be RHS. One important point denominator is having x minus 1. So x cannot be equal to 1. Now I will take LCM. So let me write here a plus 3 a plus 4 And then I will be writing whole square plus I will write a minus 3 a plus 4 whole square and right hand side I can write 4a square. Now I will expand I will multiply both the brackets. So I will write a square minus 4a plus 3a minus a minus 12 whole v square plus here I can write a square 4a minus 3a a minus 12 whole square equal to 4a square. Now I will use another substitution as we can see a square minus 12 a square minus 12. So let us consider 
a square minus 12 equal to t suppose. So I can write our first bracket as t minus a whole square. Second bracket will become t plus a whole square. And right hand side is 4a square. From this equation, a square will be equal to t plus 12. So I can write here 4 times t plus 12 a minus b whole square plus a plus b whole square. It is 2 times a square plus b square. So I will write 2 times t square plus a square. Right hand side is 4 times t plus 12. Now I can cancel 2 and 4. So it will become t square plus a square equal to 2 times t plus 12. Now a square is t plus 12. So here I will be writing t square plus t plus 12 equal to 2 times t plus 12. So 2 times t plus 12 minus t plus 12. So I can write here t square is equal to t plus 12 equal to t plus 12. Now remember our substitution. See 2x minus 2 it was a and t was our substitution. a square minus 12 was t. Because once we will solve this quadratic equation we will substitute our substitution back. So let me solve t square minus t minus 12 equal to 0. Now I can use factorization method minus 4t plus 3t minus 12 equal to 0. t is common from first two. So t minus 4. 3 is common from last two. So t minus 4 inside the bracket. Now factorization is over t minus 4 times t plus 3 equal to 0. Once t minus 4 equal to 0, I will have first solution of t 4. And once I will put t plus 3 equal to 0, I will be having minus 3. Now see, these are our substitutions. So now I will put back the value of t. It is a square minus 12. So I will write a square minus 12 equal to 4 and minus 3. With 4, I will frame one quadratic equation. So it will become, or simply add 12 to this equation. I will write 12 plus 4, 16. And add 12 to minus 3, it will become 9. So I can take a square root straight away. I will be writing plus minus 4 and plus minus 3. So here we are having a values. Now let us put the value of substitution 2x minus 2 equal to 2x minus 2 equal to plus minus 4 and plus minus 3. Now I will write 2x minus 2 equal to 4 minus 4, 3 minus 3. Add 2 to this equation. So left hand side will be left with 2x only. 4 plus 2, 6. Minus 4 plus 2, minus 2. 3 plus 2, 5. Minus 3 plus 2, minus 1. Now here we are having 2. So we have to divide both sides by 2. So x will become 3 minus 1, 5 over 2 and negative 1 over 2. Let us cross examine whether solutions are true or not. Let us cross check. So I will write here x equal to 3 first. And I will be writing here check. So x is equal to 3. 
so here i will be writing lhs let me write the second solution also x is equal to minus 1 so let me solve first for x is equal to 3 so i will be writing lhs 6 plus 1 whole square now 3 minus 3 is 0 divided by 3 minus 1 is 2 2 square is 4 plus 2x so i will write 6 minus 1 6 minus 5 is 1 so 1 x plus 1 so 4 whole square so 16 divided by 3 minus 1 is 2 2 square is 4 now you can see if i will cancel it is 4 so 0 plus 4 which is equal to 4 which is equal to rhs hence verify now come to second solution minus 1 so i will write here again lhs so minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 whole square then minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 whole square it is 16 over minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 whole square 4 plus minus 2 minus 5 minus 7 whole square 49 minus 1 plus 1 so no need to write anything here it is 0 so we can cancel this by writing 4 minus 1 square is 1 4 plus 0 so i will be getting 4 which is our rhs that means this is also true now third and fourth solution i will consider so let me write here x is equal to 5 over 2 and here i will be considering x is equal to minus 1 over 2 let us consider lhs so 2x is equal to 5 so 5 plus 1 6 whole square 36 times 5 by 2 minus 3 so minus half minus half square is 1 by 4 divided by 5 by 2 minus 1 so it is 3 by 2 3 by 2 whole square is 9 by 4 plus 2x is 5 5 minus 5 is 0 no need to write now i will cancel 4 with 4 9 with 36 by writing 4 so it is coming out 4 plus 0 which is equal to 4 which is our rhs hence verified now come to minus half so 2x is equal to minus 1 so initially the first bracket is 0 so no need to check further denominator we can see it is non zero okay now 2x minus 5 so minus 1 minus 5 minus 6 whole square 36 times minus 1 plus minus half plus 1 so half half whole square is 1 by 4 divided by minus half minus 1 minus 3 by 2 whole square is 9 by 4 same job 4 and 4 will be over 9 i will cancel 36 by 4 so it is 0 plus 4 which is equal to 4 which is our rhs hence this solution is also verified and this brings the end of this video i hope you will like this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye